Draw the tree. Draw the tree. Draw the tree. Draw the tree. There's a skyscraper, I guess. Whatever. I don't know. Give me a distance for how far this draft is going to be from the center. 70.89. Is it really harder to have a decimal when you're using a calculator, anyways? Oh. Any distance for this one? We'll call this one A and this one B. We need a speed for one of these guys. It's not slow, that's for sure. And the, the other one? We're going to find out when and where these two giraffes would meet and how far from that uh, obelisk in the middle th they would meet. So. Ultimately, we need to make a function for each animal, and we need to find the intersection point of the animals. Yes. 127. So I like to first make a sketch of the animal, of the situation, so I can, again, as I mentioned the other day, make a guess of my answer. So we're going to do that first. So we said we'll have an, a giraffe A on the left start 107.9 meters left of the center. So that's going to be somewhere towards the bottom of my graph. Negative 107.9. He had a speed of 127, and that was faster than the other one, right? Okay. Mm so, in your test, it's going to ask you probably for a sketch of the situation. This is all I need. I don't need anything super complex. See something labeled X and T and with lines and a couple numbers on it. Don't go to town and waste time making a huge graph when you just need a little sketch. And then B is going to start up at 70.9. So if that guy, that was about one, two, three and a half boxes down. This one should be like one, two and a half boxes up. 70.9. He's going about 100, so it's going to be a little bit less steep. So maybe like that. Ooh, that's going to be a tough one to guess. So if I'm guessing this, this, so this, this, and then this is how I guess. If I try and make a semi-quasi good approximation of the problem, this guy is going 70.9 meters, gets down here, is going to like 100 meters per second. So this crossing should be less than a second, as should this one. So somewhere around one second-ish and a little bit positive I should have. So I would guess maybe one second and 20 meters is where they're going to intersect, maybe. It's a very, very rough guess. But if I'm way off, and it's going to make me think again. If I'm somewhat close to that, then maybe it'll be okay. So now we're going to make functions for our two giraffes. Questions so far? Our functions just come in the form of y equals mx plus b. It's our good point-slope line equation. So we go through. The red one will say that the final position of giraffe A equals... The slope, of course, is the speed of the draft. He's going positive 127 meters per second times t plus negative, what did we say? 107.9 plus negative 107.9 meters, like that. Draft B, his position, B, will equal... 100 meters per second. He's going left, right? We made him go to negative. Plus 70. What did we say? 89 meters. Okay. Those are my functions. Question: How we got those? Just. Slope, variable, y-intercept, like that. So now, in order to find the intersection, I have to make an assumption. I'm going to always assume that there's going to be a point of intersection where they, there's at least one point where they have the same position and the same time. Now, I could be wrong. And when I do my math, if I'm wrong, I'll either get an unreal answer if, when we start doing quadratics next chapter, or I'll get a negative time, which is equally as invalid because we can't have a negative time. So lines, I think, will obviously cross in a positive time. 
right? So that would mean that we're wrong. But if we weren't sure, there we go. So we're going to make an assumption here. We can either assume that at some point the positions will be the same and solve for the time, or assume the times will be the same and solve for the position. The first method is going to be easier because the x is already by itself as opposed to the time, which is buried. So I'm going to make an assumption here that the position of draft A at some point equals the position of draft giraffe B. I'm going to see if I'm right. So then I write my functions out like this. I do 127 meters per second T plus negative 107.9 meters equals negative 100 meters per second T plus 70 0.89. And from there, you could use some math and solve for your, excuse me, Mr. Hook. You could use some math and solve for T. Or if you're one of these you know, newfangled kids that has a calculator, you can solve for it using a calculator. That makes you guess. And then it tells you the intersection point, which is, in this case, 0.788, I think, comma. Negative seven. Negative seven point, let's say eight seven. So now what do we do with that? So the x variable here stands for what for me? What's that stand for the x variable? X axis, anybody? Time. Because we have x versus t. So the x variable is the time, so that's since. This would be meters over here. And no